What's up guys, it's Fudge 99 Gaming, welcome back to a video that you're probably already going to know what it is because it's in the title and probably the thumbnail. So today we are going to be talking about the FIFA 18, like the career mode, the player mode and then obviously the storyline following on from the potential of uh, Hunter's like carry on his journey because we don't actually know, uh, yeah, so the journey. So as you as you may know, this will be coming out on the 29th. So we are, you know, coming up to obviously April, and in about three months' time, the game kind of does get boring unless they decide to do something else. But I doubt the world this year. So uh, the FIFA 17 Crimid was very strange because everyone was like so hyped for like uh, you know the journey with uh, Hunter. Not, I'm not saying that it's a letdown, but I'm saying that it kind of took the focus off from, you know, from uh, EA working on the career and possibly player mode that actually was been in the game all this time. So first of all, I'd like to talk about FIFA 18 career, so when you're the manager. So for me personally, I would like a rework of training in like, so instead of training five players a week, get them to all train but it not necessarily boosts stats they train you know you focus on what areas to train or yeah you set it as every week on a certain day or or whatever you want the attackers to work on their finishing maybe you want the midfielders to work on their first touch maybe you want then the defenders to work maybe on like positioning like tactical and then obviously I don't know if the goalkeeper you know maybe possibly like dive into the bottom left or right corner some, something like that where it's not it's just five players yeah not something where it's just like five players and that's it because it's kind of yeah you can do five plays but I mean it can't you can't boost stats that much and yeah but yeah, not necessarily boost stats massively because I feel like that would possibly be an issue where like, yeah, you're being able to like massively boost stats but not like that but they'll stay there and have to incorporate it. More potentially being fired because this has also come up. Previous FIFAs, it's the same as again, it's every, every single FIFA on the manager mode. If you hit your targets or at least hit your primary target, that's it. You you stay on as that manager until you decide to leave. So it's kind of a bit boring when it's just like comes to the end of the season. I don't know. Your objective is to w to win the Premier League. You know. I don't know. Win the EFL Cup and add like that sort of thing. You go and win the Premier League, but you you know you lose that in at the fourth round of the EFL Cup. Nothing happens. They just literally say, "Oh well." You can try again next year. We're keeping you on as manager. See, I want there to be more of a potential of you being fired if you're not performing well as a team. Or like something's not going your way. Or like they want you to have a certain amount of percentage. But say for you, say the philosophies of the club want to be a passing, like a passing club. If you don't get the passing achieved in that season. Maybe they either rethink it was a manager or they rethink philosophy, stuff like that. And also, random takeovers and random events. So yeah, takeovers being that a person decides to sell a club on, it goes to a takeover, they get then extra funding and money randomly. It doesn't have to be, because that's the thing, it's the same with like a football manager ask thing. But football managers are obviously quite calculated into like the cost they'll to do that kind of thing, but on FIFA, you know, just like a random takeover of like even possibly the club that you're managing at, then you potentially could get fired from that if they don't like how you play or whatever, stuff like that. And then if the players get moved, if they're not happy, I know that can kind of happen in this year's FIFA, it's kind of introduced it, but what I mean is if they're not getting game time, uh, they can either, yeah, run back your contract down so they're going to free or stuff like that. Some, something where that real situation is kind of happening in real life because I feel for the manager made it's not kind of correct. Because the thing is, as long as you win, won't get one of your primary targets and it's the main target, you're kind of okay. You're kind of like, it's okay. 
So the next thing is is to do with like Man City, NYCFC, clubs that are owned by other companies. So yeah, for example, Man City and NYCFC that are all like owned by the one like company, you can loan plays to them for free, like it is in real life. So if you chose Man City but you want to, I don't know, like two 19 year olds, I don't know, from the academy or recently you just brought up, you can send them over to NYCFC and if they want to get news, that's fine. If they don't, it's whatever, and it's the same with the one in Australia, I can't remember. But yeah, it's like the same thing, or if like, I don't know if this is what it is in real life, but again, I'm kind of basing this to football, man football manager only because the fact on football manager, there's sometimes clubs are affiliated with other clubs, which then means you can send players on loan there, and then it will basically tell you that if they've got a chance to play or not, or like if you just want to send them there, that's fine. So for like something like that incorporated into it could be also a very nice like thing just so yeah or if like yeah if you've got clubs affiliated with you then you can send them that. Next thing which is again very important and actually very like it's actually very yeah something that's actually very like missing in terms of FIFA is credentials actually mean something because the thing is in FIFA's you can be a manager of X club that's I don't know championship within a season you might be you know if you to be fair with Derby I've noticed this you win the uh, championship you do another season, you win the Premiership, and it automatically, for some reason, now means that you can go to any realistically top club. You know what I mean? You can easily go to, like, a top club side as and then manage that. So, it kind of, you know what I mean? Like, stuff like that, where credentials actually mean something in the game, it's not just like, right, you won the Premier League, you automatically assume that you can go and manage... You know what I mean? Manage a really good club or whatever. I think they actually should look that into more. In the same with international manager, if you decide to be, you know, at the same time being international manager, I think they should also. That actually means something because at the minute it doesn't, you just play more games essentially, and it depends on what you want to do. Obviously, trophies don't mean anything in the game. It's not like you go to Real Madrid, but they say, oh, we want you to have X amount of trophy trophies before we consider you. Something like that, which would be like, you'd have to work towards getting to a bigger club. Something like that. Uh, and then also loyal, the last thing for uh, manager made is maybe possibly loyalty. So if you're with a club longer, you might then get more funds because you're like, you're more trusted to be at the club at the time, possibly. Stuff like that anyway, so now let's play, move on to the player mode. So again, there's a lot of things that are actually missing from the player mode, and I might even be missing stuff out myself, which I'm not sure. But yeah, if, if you feel like some things could be more, please put it in the comments and I'll read them through. So the player mode. Some people don't play it. I actually play it, to be honest, because I, I actually don't mind it. I actually quite like it. So one thing that's missing on player career mode not necessarily manager because you can do it but is a six month loan you can't go out to a club on player mode for six months then come back and try and get your fight for your place it's automatically a season on loan and you don't get called back there's no maybe it has but definitely i've never seen me getting called back from you know, from a loan spell sort of thing, so it kind of could help. Uh, so yeah, just stuff like that, because it gives you more authenticity, because it actually happens, like six months loans, yes, in lower leagues, but not necessarily more in the high leagues, but definitely in the lower leagues, you get recalled to a side for six months to get your game time, and then you come back, and then the, you know, the managers see how you've developed, and you know, they get reports and everything like that, so that could be another, like, good thing to add just because to give it that authenticity that realism of the game another thing the ability to be recalled if you are doing well at your uh, loan club or if the parent club has injuries 
and they don't have maybe enough funds to get it in or they don't want to because at the minute, yeah, if you're if you're on that season long spell, you're in for that season. You can't get called back, you can't do anything, you are literally there for that that whole season. So you obviously have to play it or you have to simulate it if you kinda don't really want to play other games. So it's a bit shit where I think you should if you're doing really well, they should like email you saying, uh we are potent. I don't know something on the lines is we are potentially wanting to recall you if you play well in X amount of games, uh, we might recall you to fight for your place, and then you'll start getting more game time from there. I don't know. Maybe you're playing a game, then you're missing a game, stuff like that, like game, game on, game off sort of thing, potentially that sort of thing. Uh, so for and then also injuries, cause yeah. If there's an injury, was I don't know. They had three strikers at the club. You was one of them. You went out alone. Two of the play, two of the strikers got injured. More than likely, on FIFA, I replaces it with a player of the kind of the left wing, right wing, or they'll buy another player room. Which I think then you should be able to be recalled. To so then you play replacement until they come back from injury, etc. And also a different transfer system. Because it's very, also, another thing, key thing that they've not added in, and I don't understand why, because Pez do it, is start on the bench and then come on. We've seen it in uh, Pez, this, this, you know, Pez 17, and I'm pretty sure 16, where you could come off on the bench at half time. So you were subbed on, and you can play half that game, or you can play... You know, whatever time that the manager decides to bring you on, and again, that gives you more authenticity instead of messing the game altogether. Because it's just like, well, he's not giving me the opportunity to go and play, even though, you know, for whatever reason. So that's kind of another thing. Now, again, that's the same thing with the training. It should be reworked in terms of, you know, just better overall, and then also loyalty. So if you get, I don't know. You're at the club for three or four seasons, you know, you've got them X amount of goals, etc. You should, like, get, a, like, a contract with, like, more money. I know, realistically, in the game, it kind of doesn't do you much, but you know what I mean. For, again, for the authenticity purpose, it'd be better if you, I don't know, you was there for four seasons. You know, you're on your last year contract. They offer you a bumper packet wage because you've been there for so long. You're committed, you've got X amount of goals, you've done all of this sort of thing, so I feel that would also help. And the last thing, so is the journey. Journey. This is obviously a difficult one because we presume that it will be coming back to FIFA 18, but it's actually, they've not confirmed it or anything, but we imagine that it will be. Uh, so another thing that I'd like in like the journey is to play a full season because the amount of games... Like, the amount of times that you played, it was barely anything. It wasn't that great in terms... Yeah, the storyline was good. Is like a start in, you're a young player, you get in, etc, etc. But in terms of, you know, you don't have a full season like that. I know it was kind of the start of the story, but I'd prefer, I'd hope that they actually either bring you to make sure you at least you have, like, half the season in. Because it, it's not at the, all the outcomes are kind of the same, where it's literally... You get called up for the England squad, and then that's kind of it, really. You know what I mean? It kind of ends there as like you're called up for the England squad, but that's about it. You know, I'd I'd hope that uh, EA have kind of done more games, so at least you can have at least half a season, possibly. I know they have to, you know, create the storylines, but it, you know, we're seeing it with other games like I don't know, The Walking Dead, for example. Your the choices that you make can. You know, be good, be bad, you know, etc, etc. So I feel like they should do that. And it's the same with, like, the most lifestyle choices. So, I don't know. Like, on other games, where you see it's, like, more mobile games, though, where it's, like, you know, go and, you know, spend a night in or go out with, you know, your teammates and have, like, a team bonding. Like, choose options, have a, like, that or something like that. I know it'd be quite difficult, but, you know, it is done you know particularly in mobile games but it is it is a possibility and yeah to make outcomes different because all on everyone's at the end of it it was i'm in the england squad that's all right but that was literally it it kind of ends on 
you're in the England squad, so what? You've all got the same outcome. There's none, you know, you can fail it. And so if you get a red card and in one game, if you've got a red card, that was game over and you had to try again. But there's no, like, inter like, I feel like they need to build it. So if you're not doing well, you'll get put on the transfer list. You move to a lower club and you have to work your way back up. I feel like that's that one. And then more leagues, because obviously there was only the Premier League and then the three relegates. So something like that where, yeah, if they did it in terms of, say, I don't know, you wasn't performing well, they'd actually have all of the championship teams and possibly even League One. Something like that where if you wasn't doing very well, you got put in transfer list, you got moved to, I don't know, a League One club, then you had to work your way back up and sort of like that. I feel like that would be also very good because it, it would simulate real life situations that it can happen to any player if they fall off. There's potential that they could move to a lower club or even to move to a different country altogether. It would be very good, I don't know, to have the usual League One, League Two in France. I know it's kind of difficult with licensing issues and stuff, but even just like, yeah, even just, I don't know, yeah, you know, more uh, availability. So, yeah, that's going to be it. Please give a thumbs up if you have enjoyed. Yeah, please leave comments below what you want to see. I know people, not many people play. I know everyone plays the journey, really, but especially the manager and play mode. I know a lot of people don't play them. But I like them, so that's why I did the video on it. So I've been fortunate in that game, and I'll see you in the next video. Peace.